hello good day my name is edwin welcome to my youtube channel today we'll be talking about how medical lab scientists and how medical lab technicians come to come to australia to live and work edwin is the name if you're a medical lab scientist if you're a medical lab technician and you want to come to live and work in australia this video is for you before we continue 70 percent of you guys that watch my video do not subscribe please if you've loved my video or if you've learned something from my video, I do ask a favor of you hit the subscription button so that next time I release video, you'll be notified. And also, by you subscribing to my channel, we'll be able to grow the channel and you know being able to invite more guests to come in and talk to us about immigration pathways to Australia. Medical lab scientists, medical lab technicians, get your pen and paper ready because today is for you. We'll be talking about how you can come into Australia through the skill independent visa or true skill nomination visa to come here live and work in your profession this is for you so first of all we start with um skills assessment just like every other profession coming to australia you need positive skills assessment and for medical lab technicians and uh, medical lab scientists the assessing body that we assess your credentials to ensure that is equivalent to what is obtainable here in Australia is known as A I M S. So that is the Australian Institute of Medical Sciences. So this body is responsible for assessing you know the educational qualification of persons who are medical lab technicians, scientists coming or wishing to come to Australia to live and work. <clears throat> So in the description section of this video, you see a link that will direct you to, to the website of this body. And also basically all you need to do is you must have completed a bachelor's degree in a medical lab science. science. Um, you also need at least two years full time experience in the last five years. So if you meet these two basic requirements, in addition to other requirements you find in the description section of this video, then you are on the spot. <coughs> to you know apply for positive for skills assessment with this body if you're going as a medical lab scientist or technician now we need to get two things so the pathway is still the same for medical lab scientists and medical lab technicians but however for medical lab scientists you have to first of all do positive skill you have to do skills assessment if it is positive the body will issue you with um, a letter inviting you to sit for the examination. If you pass the qualifying examination, you'll be issued a positive skills assessment that will enable you to apply for visa in Australia. And that will also recognize you as a member of, you know, Australian Institute of Medical Lab Sciences. So there is a professional, it is a professional body. You need to first of all do skills assessment. You need to, you know, go for the written exam. If you are successful, then you can go on with the next step, which is apply for visa that will bring you to Australia to live and work. In terms of the examination, you don't need to travel anywhere. You can do it at the comfort of your home because it's all is organized online. So what that means is. All you need to have is a good internet, have computer, then you can connect to the portal. I think the examination is written two times in a year. In the description section of this video, it will give you more information about the examination, the deadline, the application fee, the examination fee. All you need to know about this examination is contained in the description section of this video. Like I always say, not an immigration agent. It, the link I've sent below is going to lead you directly to the official website of this body. So there you get detailed, direct, first-hand information on how you can go about this process. So you need to write exam for you to have positive skills assessment as a medical lab scientist. Is um, MCQ questions. I think it's come. It has uh, four sections or five sections. I need to have a minimum of 50% for you to pass each session. You need a minimum of 50% in each session for you to be successful in examination. So in the description section of this video, I've added a link that will give you more information, detailed information 
about how you go about the skills assessment and also how you prepare for the examination. I know some persons have asked how do we prepare, what group do we join. If you go to Facebook, you can just um, search just keyword Medical Lab Scientist Association in Australia. You can come up with a, maybe a group icon. So you just send a request to join the group. Chances are you can see resources or materials that will help you to prepare for the examination. But from what I've seen, the examination is not difficult. If you gone through um, a school, you have the degree and you've been practicing as a medical lab scientist, I think you should be able to answer the clinical questions, the MCQ questions about the, exam the duration of the exam is around two, three hours. So you don't need to travel to any country. You don't need to go to any center. It is something you can organize at the comfort of your own by connecting online to the website. So that way you have access to the center and being able to sit for the examination. So this is for the medical lab scientists. Then talking about medical lab technicians is a different pathway. The same body is also responsible for organizing the assessment of medical lab technicians. However, you don't need to sit for any examination. So all you need to do is to send in your degree, send in um, evidence of um, your employment. Another requirement that are contained in the description section of this video. So you have a degree that is connected or related to medical lab science. You have um, uh, at least two years um, post-study experience full-time in the last five years, then you are eligible to you know, go for this part of you too. So in the description section of this video, there is a link that will give you detailed information about how pharmacy, sorry, I'm talking about pharmacy, how medical lab technicians can actually you know, apply for skills assessment, how they can get positive skills assessment from the same body, AIMS, Australian Institute of Medical Scientists. And so that is it for medical lab scientists and medical lab technicians. The first thing, if you are coming to Australia, you need to get positive skills assessment. And like I always say that different assessing bodies, you know, assessing authorities is different from one occupation to another. For medical lab scientists, the assessing body or the body that will conduct the assessment, you know, to compare a degree to see that is, is equivalent to what you can have or what is obtainable here in Australia is known as AIMC. So if you've gone through this step, you have positive skills assessment, then the next thing you have to do, just like every other person, is to create an EOI. I have to state here that medical lab scientists are uh, Medical lab scientists can apply for visa 189, they are also eligible for 190, 491, 482. There are a whole lot of options for medical lab scientists. And Australia is also in need of medical lab scientists because it's in a skilled occupation list. However, for medical lab technicians, you can't apply for the federal independent visa, that is 189, but medical lab technicians are eligible for 190. They can also apply for 491 visa. They can also apply for 482 visa, which is employer-sponsored visa. So that is it. In terms of salary package, definitely medical lab scientists will receive far more than medical lab technicians. I think the average annual salary for medical lab scientists in Australia is around, um, yeah, you can double check this in Google. It should be around ninety thousand dollars per year and for medical lab technician <clears throat> somewhere around fifty four thousand dollars per year so it's really good if you have the necessary degree which i believe you have you have the recognized experience you work for at least two years full-time or part-time experience as a medical lab technician or as a medical lab scientist in the last five years then this opportunity is for you so like I always say, you don't need an expert, you don't need an agent to do this for you. All these are verifiable information that if you go online through the link I've sent to you, you'll be able to verify this information, look at the eligibility check to see if you're eligible to, you know, undertake the skills assessment. That is the first thing you need to do. Then afterwards, you also need to do point calculation. There's a point calculator in the description section 
that will tell you how far you stand in terms of point because Australian immigration system is based is a point based system in the sense that you are located point based on certain factors or based on certain requirements. So your age is being factored in the point you are going to have, your experience, your qualification, positive skills assessment, and definitely the visa you are going for. So all of these are put into consideration to place you at the point you know, with other candidates or other applicants in the pool. So at the end of the day, depending on the criteria, what the state you are applying for, you know, what the wants of candidates or applicants in that particular field. You have been invited to apply for a visa as the case may be. So let's take it backwards. You've gotten your positive skills assessment as a medical lab scientist or as a medical lab technician. The next step for you is to create UI, which is known as expression of interest. You want to tell the various states, maybe Queensland, Western Australia, South Australia, anyone that oh i'm interested so you create ui in the description section of this video you see a link that will direct you on how to create ui for the state you want to go for after you've created ui you want to wait for the state to invite you and when you're invited you apply for your visa and by the time you know it you'll be granted visa and you come to australia so guys medical lab scientists this is for you grab the opportunity i look forward to seeing you in australia when you eventually come here as a medical lab scientist Guys, do have a lovely day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, Edwin.